Hello and welcome back. We are on week six, I believe, thinking tonight about continuing. And I have here a standard UK coin and I wonder if you've ever thought about what is on each side of a coin. On one side, every standard UK coin has the Queen's head and that represents authority. The other side of this coin tells us uh, the coin's value and its purpose. This particular coin is worth 20 pennies and it can be exchanged for goods or services that are worth 20p. Every coin has the Queen's head for authority and what its purpose and value is. You couldn't cut a coin in half because it wouldn't be worth anything anymore. And in Mark 1, verse 17, Jesus is calling his disciples, and this is really early on in his ministry, and it says this, Jesus called out to them, come follow me and I will show you how to fish for people. You see, our mission also involves both authority and purpose. The authority that we work under, that our mission comes under, is Jesus's authority. Come follow me, Jesus says. It's not about us, it's about him. But then alongside the authority of Jesus comes the purpose to fish for people. It's an incredible verse that again talks of our calling as Christians and what that means. In a lot of the stories that we've looked at in this series, what we see is that Jesus connects with people and he spends time with people. He doesn't just have a one-off hit and run conversation. He stays and he eats with them, sometimes for days at a time. So too, when he sent out the disciples in the verse we looked at last week, he didn't just say, when you offer a sign of peace, um, quickly tell them about Jesus or tell them about the gospel and then go. No, he says, stay with them. We are called to continue the journey with our friends and family. We're called not simply to, to share the message of Jesus, but to keep sharing it and to keep doing life with them in the highs and in the lows. To continue journeying with people as they take steps forward towards Jesus, no matter how long that takes and no matter how big those steps are each at a time. We're called to real, deep, ongoing friendship. And one of the things that we're going to look at this evening it's thinking about one or two or maybe more of those five people that we are praying for. And we're going to have a chance to think about how open is this person to Jesus and to faith. And we're also going to think about what maybe as I continue journeying with them is the next step I could take with them to share Jesus. That might be a simple act of love or kindness. It might be an invitation to, to church or to a youth small group. It might be just hanging out with them and spending more time. It might be giving them a book. It might be starting a conversation. There are lots of steps forward. But we are called not for a one-off conversation, but to continue this journey under the authority of Jesus as we live out this mission of sharing his love with others.